Oh shit, 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 shit. I gotta be really careful. What, you're alive? I've never had one of these guys not die. What the fuck? What is that balance, dude? He's balancing on his arm. What the fuck? Okay, I got him. I always use the pulse rifle to kill these guys and it made it a, a lot easier. Yeah, I really don't understand the ammo drops in this game. On my uh, my first character, like I said, I ended up getting a ton of the like force ammo, and it actually kind of screwed me over because I always got that, never got anything else, and then I never had any ammo. And then it, you know what I mean, and I got a ton of ripper blades too. But at least you know ripper blades are usable. All right, do I need to go on the other side here? I think I do. Can I jump to it? No, of course not. Can I jump to this wall? Get out of here, spider monkey. Where'd you go? Alright, extend him. Two Ripper Blades, come on. I kind of hate that room, because, like, you come out on the ceiling, and then you have to jump onto the floor, like, ugh. It's so, like, disorienting. Warning. Air filtration system still active. Entering the filtration tubes is extremely hazardous. Hello? Hello, security? Thank God. This is Dr. Cross in hydroponics. I'm trying to locate second engineer Jacob Temple. I can't get through to engineering. Of course I know there's a shipwide medical alert. That's why I'm trying to locate him. No, we're safe for now, but the tram is down and we can't reach the escape pods. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Oh, did I seriously just one hit that dude? What the hell? That's the last one, Isaac. There's a switch in atmosphere control to restart the oxygen recycling. How did Once I one hit clean, him? You can get into food storage. Do I just do that much damage? Isaac, I've been reading these reports. That I can one hit the basic Girl guys? Began having mass hallucinations. And well, I just saw my brother on a security monitor. And that's just not possible. Yeah, we're all seeing things. You ain't special. Imagine if you got to the end of this game. 
and you just wake up. Like it was a dream, hallucination, or, you know, fucking VR game. <laughs> oh, man. People would be mad. That would actually be kind of a funny, like, story for a game. Especially, like, a VR game. Where you literally just control a dude playing a VR game. And then you get to the end and, you know what I mean, it, like, zooms out, goes into third person of you like, taking off a VR headset. And then that's the end of the game. And then the next game, like, since the, the secret's out, it starts with you in third person putting on a VR headset. And then it zooms, you know, it, like, go, zooms in through the back of your head or whatever. Into, you know, into the uh, first person VR. I think that'd be hilarious. Is this thing gonna open or what? Damn. Ooh, shit. Get out of here. Taking out the spider monkeys with the, uh, ripper is very difficult, too. Come on, am I really full already? Probably, yeah, look at how many fucking river blades I have, what the hell? Like, it's crazy how many I get. I don't really understand the, part, the point of that. There's like one other room, I think I already passed it. Where like the exact same thing happens, like all the, you know, the windows and walls kind of like break. For no reason. Like, nothing jumps out of them. It's just like a little jump square. Ooh, bench. Alright, I got four. Take the damage buff. There's a reload one right there. Hmm. I could get the last damage buff. Call it good, actually. Hmm. I'll definitely go for capacity over reload. Plus, that's less nodes I'll have to use anyway. And then that's probably good. I could put one more node into a reload speed or two, actually, without having to waste any, but... Also, kind of, reload speed is a little bit of a waste anyway, right? And then I think, I think I might work on stasis next. I want to work on the ripper, but you just have to put so many points in nothing before you actually get to stuff that's worth it. Is there nothing in here? There's literally nothing in there. Okay. Isaac, where are you? Help me. Actually, saving right here is kind of a waste because I'm gonna go over to the store, buy a bunch of stuff, and then probably save again. Alright, I need a lot of, um, plasma energy here, so... First of all, let's store some of these river blades, because they aren't very good in this fight. Honestly, I don't even need- like, I only need, like, one stack, and I'm probably good. Do I have some pulse? Or some, uh, rip- uh, what is it called? Plasma energy. Man, I have none. Look at all these fucking river blades. Oh my god. I hate it. I fucking hate it. I'm gonna spend a good amount of money right here just cause I'm gonna need it. I already know. Especially with, you know, especially cause the uh, plasma cutter is my only weapon. I'll go down to like 70,000 and that should be good. It's so like the, the flamethrower, I feel like, would do nothing at all in this fight. I know for a fact the ripper does nothing. The force gun, I'm pretty sure, would do nothing. Contact beam. I think, theoretically, would do something. Pulse rifle, I know works. And then the line gun, I don't really know exactly how that works. Alright. Actually, let me do this. All 
relevance. Do that first. Restoring nitrogen and oxygen levels. Food storage lockdown lifted. See, now I save. Now, if I die... Actually, I'm pretty sure there's an autosave up here, but if I die, I won't have to worry about, uh, you know, buying everything I again and all that. Log, this is Dr. Cross. It's hard for me to believe what I'm seeing here. This is crazy. Ooh, nice. Absolutely More plasma crazy. energy. I'm going to the mining deck. I hear that's where survivors are gathering. Jacob, I'll wait for you there. Hate to tell you, but there ain't no survivors. Right here, we open up and see. Oh, never mind. Because do this first. Damn it! Come on, open up. The wasn't strong enough. It's still alive. Get in there and kill it before it contaminates the entire ship. I'm trying. Open the door. All right, here we see the big boy. Step on here to start the fight. I actually did this fight in um, a couple try. Only took me a couple tries on my first time. Yeah, I never figured out how to avoid those hits. I just took them. Damn, that was easy. And they always come out of this one hole. Like, they'll switch to this hole to attack you from it. It's really weird. Actually, so it looks like three hits. So I might actually be, be able to get off all three in one, one jab. One lunge or whatever. I've tried running from the from that attack and it just doesn't really work. What happens if I do this? And then launch it back. I never actually tried this. Oh, come on. Open your mouth. This lighting is way different this time for some reason. Uh, ooh, wait, how much health do I have? Oh, I thought I was way lower than that. Open your mouth. I mean, this is what I did the first time. I don't really know if this is exactly what you're supposed to do, but it worked, so... There we go. There is a little bit of loot to get around here, so... Yeah, it did actually only take me a couple tries to do this the first time. You did it! Which I thought was reasonably impressive. Hammond, do you read? Oxygen levels are returning to normal. Damn it! He's gone again. No sign of his rig anywhere. It's up to us now. I've got a plan to get off this ship. 
I've located an SOS beacon on the mining deck. If you can get down there and activate it, we might be able to send a distress call. Oh god, I don't know how much longer the door will hold. Yeah, the first time I went in and failed because I just didn't, I literally didn't have enough ammo. Um, and then the second time I did it, without much trouble, I mean, it took literally all the ammo I had. Because, I, you know, I came back and just spent every single credit I had on ammo to be able to kill it. At least I get to pick up some of these credits. I know there's like a ton in those side areas that I'm not going to go get, but oh well. I think sometimes those side areas get locked off anyway, so I might not even be able to if I wanted to. I mean, I have like, what did I have, 70,000 credits left over? Plus a billion Ripper Blades, and you know, those are good enough for just about every fight in the game, except like that one and a couple others. Plus, I could always sell the Ripper Blades as well. It's not very efficient to sell ammo and buy other ammo, but better than, you know, not having ammo at all.